Hey guys, welcome back to the Rob Pop YouTube channel, your number one pit stop for all things Eurovision. And it's time we come home to daddy because Europapa is amongst us. Daddy, chill. That's right, if you didn't understand anything about that intro, that's probably because you're not absolutely obsessed with Eurovision in the way that most of us are. But in this video, I will be reacting to the Netherlands entry for Eurovision 2024. They're being represented by Jus Klein and the song is Europapa. It makes sense now. Now, Jus Klein was announced long, long ago. He was one of the first artists that we knew was going to be coming to Eurovision. However, the song has been in the works for a couple of months now. But this is an entry that I've seen being spoken about a lot. Everybody is talking about it. I know that it's one that quite a lot of the fans really enjoy. That doesn't mean I'm always going to be a fan of his favourites this year that I'm kind of middle on. But it does mean that I'm very excited to hear it and see whether it really does live up to the hype. Netherlands in general, very good nation at Eurovision. Last year, I actually really liked their song Burning Daylight. But the less said about the live vocal, the better. Let's just leave it there. Let us not... Let's not drag people while they're down. But before we do begin, it would be amazing if you could subscribe to this channel. I've not stopped banging on about trying to hit 500 subscribers in all of my last few videos. I finally did it. We did it. We did it, Joe. We finally did it. But that doesn't mean that we stopped there. I'd still love to get more of you talking to me down below, commenting on what these songs are about, and just engaging with me in general, because building this whole Eurovision family is genuinely my favourite thing about this year so far. So if you do enjoy these videos, if you want to camp hold gay old time with me, hit subscribe and we can have some fun together. But as ever, you know how we do it by now. Cup of tea in hand. We're about to relax and we're about to react to Europapa. This is Netherlands entry for Eurovision 2024. Let's go. Let's do it. Immediately getting scooter vibes from this entry. Siberia. I'm wearing the colors. It's like I knew. A very rap style here, which is unique for Eurovision. We don't get a lot of rap. My first thoughts is this fits in a similar feel to Finland's entry for the year. Very immediately hooky. It's there. You can't not smile when you're watching this, can you? I'm still not sure how I feel about the song, but it's an immediate feel-good moment. I mean, it's got Televote favourite written all over it. I like, I've got a couple of subtitles going down here, and these lyrics are actually quite interesting. They're very sort of like autobiographical, just sort of written as if they're speaking to you. I like this kind of house influence. This chorus takes on a real different feel to the 90s feel of the verses. You can't get that hook out of your head, but I'm still waiting for it to really like hit me because I'm like, this is good, I'm enjoying it, but I'm not like, love, love, love yet. This is what I was waiting for. I knew there was something else that was going to hit. Now this is a moment that the entirety of the arena is just going to explode. Oh. I've got subtitles on it. This is warming my heart. I didn't see this coming. This is really like, ooh, my hairs are still on end. It is cold in this house, but still. Oh. <laughs> Why did that suddenly just get me like that? Well, 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 that was a very layered entry. I kind of got elements that I expected and elements that I didn't. I did know from the moment that he was confirmed we were going to get something a little bit more left field, something a little bit crazier, but also kind of that rap infusion. And I definitely got that. It was very catchy from first listen. I always talk about immediate appeal and how that's very important at Eurovision. There's no doubt that Europa is going to be in my head all day. So, you know, that's an immediate tick. I think the song got better as it went along. The songs that build tend to be my favourite at Eurovision. So I'm like, let's give this time. And now that I've got the whole package, I feel more appreciative of it. I was kind of waiting for it to develop past the Europa. Because I was like, yeah, that's catchy. Have you got anything more? Then we hit kind of like a hardcore touch that really got me going in a dance sense. Like, as I said during the video, I can imagine that being a moment where you just hear the roar of the crowd that really just takes over that kind of really euphoric feel. And then when we got that sad moment at the end, my whole vibe changed, but in a way that like I was 
happy about but what this has that perhaps other songs in its lane don't have is that element at the end of sadness that actually brings a bit of storytelling into this and it's not easy to do something that feels fun and silly but then also has an element of storytelling in it at the same time at least not one that's immediate from first listen sometimes you have to sort of research the lyrics or someone has to comment down below for me to understand but my kind of interpretation was this song about him sort of finding his feet in this world, sort of really starting to see like Europe for itself and start to take ownership of it. And then thanking his father at the end, I'm gonna assume his father is someone that's passed and sort of owing his view of the world to his father. And it kind of gave the whole thing a sense of meaning. And as I say, that's not easy to do with novelty because you spend the whole time sort of wanting to laugh and wanting to find joy, but it actually gave a whole new dimension to the track that it doesn't just feel novelty, it has different layers to it, and therefore it has different appeals to it. And I think that really sets it apart from any other song in the contest so far. And it's a very clever touch because I can tell you, I was not expecting to have goosebumps in the last 30 seconds of that song. So this song really is like a whole array of emotions. It's joy, it's happiness, it's euphoria, but then it's also sadness, so it's very clever in that aspect. Always happy to hear rap at Eurovision because I know that it's one that can be a bit daring, it can be a bit of a brave move because the juries aren't always likely to go for it, but I think this takes all the risks that it needs to take and does it all in a palatable sense while also bringing something new to Eurovision, and I really do commend that. How do I think this will do at Eurovision? I would assume very well it's got to be in contention for a televote favourite. I feel like something like Baby Lasagna may be a little bit more instant. I think it maybe shouts at you a bit more, whereas some of the message of this means that, you know, it could take a second or a third listen, but it is obviously very immediately catchy. So I do think it will be like top five with the televote. I do worry about the jury, but I do think that it had enough elements to it that kind of broke it free. And I think that they can find some meaning in this. Like I say, that last 20, 30 seconds, made the whole thing take on a different life so my brain would say this is a top 10 for the Netherlands I'm not sure if it's a winner what my brain does say definitely a top 10 could be breaching on top 5 and definitely one that's going to go down as a fan favourite and I totally understand why but those are my opinions what are your opinions are you a huge fan of this are you rooting for this to go all the way are you not just quite understanding this yet let me know down below I love to hear from you and hear what you think Give this video a like if you enjoyed what you saw and hit that bell if you want notifications every time I upload a video. But for now, love to all of you in Netherlands. Can't wait to see this in Malmo and see all of you waving your Netherlands flag in pride for your king use because I know you all love him out there and I definitely get why. Sporting blue in your honour and for now, I bid you good night.